Hello and welcome. This is Professor Dr. Vyat Pragyacharya again. And the last PowerPoint or lecture on catabolism of pyrimidine of this series. It is a small one and uh, <coughs> similar to the purine, cata uh, purine catabolism, they are also degraded to bases similar to purines through this dephosphorylation, deamination and glycosidic bond cleavage. Uracil reduced in liver forming beta alanine which is finally converted to malonyl coenzyme A. And if you recall from fat metabolism or lipid metabolism, fatty acid synthesis can be done from this. So, this is the benign fate of pyrimidine nucleotides. So, final uh, UMP uh, cytosine becomes uracil and thiamine becomes uh, di dihydrothiamine as well as uracil becomes dihydrouracil in the presence of dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase. Again uh, NADPH is used here and then from uracil beta uridopropionate and from thiamine beta urido isobutyrate is produced. Finally, carbon dioxide and ammonia will be produced and on either side from uracil beta alanine and from thiamine beta amino isobutyrate will be generated. So, this is a very small pathway may be the smallest pathway in entire biochemistry metabolism. So, this is the ultimate effect or uh, ultimate uh, fate of pyrimidines. So, usually they are not associated with uh, any clinically significant abnormalities. However, catabolites since water soluble, highly water soluble they get uh, released through urine. One uh, clinical deficiency of folic acid may be associated with this uh, or even vitamin B12 deficiency because tetrahydrofolate are required for thiamidylate synthesis. Due to total or partial deficiency of dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase, there may be beta hydroxybutyric acidudia seen. This is one of the diseases that have been uh, recently seen and then uraciluria thiamineuria. This is due to disorder of the pyrimidine catabolism, excessive formation of beta alanine and beta amino isobutyrate is seen. Here the significant feature is serious neurological disorder. These are due to genetic causes, genetic abnormality of enzymes, but five fluorouracil may also be um, able to induce similar features in patients deficient in dihydropyrimidine dehydrogenase. So, another product that is pseudouridin that is obtained from RNA, it is not at all metabolized. It is excreted unchanged in urine. This is significant hist from historical point of view because it was first isolated from urine. So, this is all about the pyrimidine catabolism this is for you. You are a masterpiece of his. Thank you all. Bye bye.